Hey man, welcome back to Man Time. Today's episode, oh, it's going to be a good one. It is going to be a real good one. I don't know if you can see back here behind me, but it is officially steel day. <laughs> I was talking about that guy that I got the last couple saws from. He had like 40 on the back of his, between his truck bed and his trailer. Um, about 40 saws. Uh, they were going for 50 to 100 a piece and uh, picked up a couple here. Um, man, if nothing else, it's worth it for this bar over here. It's got, it's got a long one on it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm just going to jump into it here with these saws, uh, trying to refurb them. Um, I had uh, I'd started running those Huskies and they run amazing and they're fast and they're ported and they're awesome. But my 031, uh, it was my main saw for so long, um, I saw these two, <laughs> and I was like, man, I need to look at one of these bigger saws. So these are either uh, 045s or 056s, I don't know which, um, until we can get down there and see what size piston. They're pretty much the same frame, just with a different jug, but I think they've both got like 38 millimeter stroke, and they... They range from like 70 to 80 cc or something with a 52 millimeter, 52 millimeter piston, uh, 48 millimeter stroke. I mean, really good stuff. So let's jump into it. Welcome to man time. Let's get a little closer look at these. Um, so I haven't done anything to these, like not even tried to take the gas cap off of either one of them. Uh, I got them basically and then, oh God, oh God. Yeah, this still had gas in it. Uh, so I need to, first thing I do is, is empty the old gas out of these when I get them. Um, so that's on the top of the list. Uh, let's see, Champion Spark Plug, um, it looks like it's missing some pieces here. This piece is broke, okay, so this is falling off. Um, yeah, I mean, just gunk and stuff, obviously. Um, starts with kind of cleaning everything out. Going and uh, just basically spraying everything down with blaster, you can see. Starting to get all this stuff kind of loosened up here. Um, let's see, there's three screw holes one of them's completely clogged to uh to hold this on and the game plan here is to you know just do a, a general assessment on them see what's all missing and then uh and then oh geez well at least the carburetor is there right i mean there's not too much to uh yeah, it was left, it was left open, but it doesn't look too bad in there. I'm going to blow it out, of course. And what I do there is typically just close the choke like that and then blow it off from there. Um, locked up, let's see. Nope, not locked up. And, oh God, uh, compression, okay. So, wow, um, not locked up and have compression. That's awesome. Okay, uh, let's move this one over here for now. Let's move this one into, in line. Um, now this one, let's see, nothing. Cracked chip and paint. Ugh. Yeah, now on this other one, it's got steel stamped right on the gas cap, but that's not coming off. <laughs> let's, uh... Look at the side of it here. Yeah, see, it's still got, I mean, it's got the side cover. That one was missing the side cover. So between the two of these, I should be able to get one of them working. Um, see, it's got whole provisions for another set of dogs. That one's got a bent up set. This one has them on here. Uh, looking like a 25 inch uh, 050 3 8 chain. Um, I did end up picking up this because neither one of them had this piece so I found this on eBay um, but this one has the carb it's actually looking pretty clean in here <sighs> 
so not uh, not too bad. And it has the air filter, which is good. So no air filter on that one. Let's uh, check for compression. Pulls over. Uh, okay. Well, this one needs a pull cord right off the bat. Um, okay, well, that's what we're working with. Let's, uh, hmm. yeah, let's start with getting this side cover off, getting the plugs out, seeing if we can get a look down into the pistons, and then get the exhausts off of there. And we'll take another look at it. Okay, well, I don't really have a uh, game plan per se, but um, I, I do want to start off with taking the exhaust off. I'd like to get a look inside of there um, at the piston, and to get the exhaust off, there's two bolts down here and then one up here, but the one up here, it's like, to get on it is like coming through this, so I'm like, all right, well, first I need to then take this off. We've got to set up our order of operations, right? Uh, these old saws are, you know, in some ways more complicated and in some ways simpler than the newer saws, but when disassembling them, sometimes it's a little bit more difficult. But. So I've got the lower handle mount here, which is missing screws, so I don't have to take those out. Um, I've got one right here going through to a mount. Um, I've also got one right here, two more under here, and um, then there's one, there's one right here. And then, of course, you've got, like, your choke and your stop. So those are going to have wires. and um, So right here is the linkage, and it comes down, and it's e-clipped into the carb. Man, that carb looks pretty darn good looking in there at it, though. Um, yeah, and I don't really have a game plan as far as, like, what I'm going to do to them. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to get a good assessment of what's what on both saws. So... I'm going to do that for both saws, get the handles off, and then, you know, start compiling a good parts and bad parts list of, uh, you know, parts on one that are going to work on the other one and vice versa. Like here, I've got a broken plastic handle. Um, this one has a good plastic handle, so probably end up using that one, maybe end up using that handle. Um, you know, as far as the pull cord starts go, I mean, this all looks intact. It's just a little crunchy, so I'm going to, you know, of course, have to disassemble it. But it's all complete, and it's got that old steel with the, you know, sawtooth going through the wood. Very cool. Um, this one, of course, has the newer orange steel. Not sure if I like that better or not. And all the hardware around here is not going to be like one Allen head, so it's kind of what I was talking about with, you know, not... <clears throat> being a little bit different than taking apart a new saw you've got one or two allen heads uh, or three or four you know or a couple torx bits and you can take a basically the whole thing apart this one i'm going to be bouncing around from a phillips to a flat of course there's been hardware changed out on it flatheads here and you know um yeah flathead down here so anyways i'll get these broken down and then we'll check back in well we have uh, made a little bit of progress here i'm going to hold off on one until I get one kind of where I want it, and then maybe bag up this parts for this one, and go into that one, because it's, it's supposed to maybe rain today, so. Oh! Ho, 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 That, uh, that was close. Almost broke the drill, I think, getting that one. But yeah, you may be asking, like, what tools do you need for this sort of job? Just all of them. Um, every tool that you got, just bring it out, because you're going to need it. Uh, one trick you can do is with a crescent wrench like that, if you've got a flathead with some flats on it. But otherwise, it's hernia time with a Phillips, you know, as hard as you can push and as hard as you can twist. Um, but... Nice. 
Okay, there's our muffler. Um, all right, moment of truth here. Oh dear lord. Did I just... Well, the piston has some minor scoring. Let's see if we can get in here and look at it a little bit. Yeah, so here's looking in at our piston and um, might be a little tricky to see, but there's just some minor scoring right along that top edge of the piston. It doesn't even look too bad. It looks very runnable as is. Ring looks good. Um, nonetheless, we're going to get the uh, get the jug off of here. So let's just keep taking bolts off until we can get to that point. Okay, so let's see. Next uh, order of operations. Actually, well, we've got it down this far. What we can do here is look down into the jug and just make sure that scoring isn't extended into the jug. And it's hard to tell. Um, this is at such a steep angle. I really can't get in there and see too much. Yeah, matter of fact, I can't really see anything. Two ring piston. Yeah, it just looks like light scoring. I mean, I should maybe even be okay there. Everything moves real smooth, though, on the lower end side of things. Um, it's all moving really nice and smooth. So, uh, let's see here. I think the next step is going to be, see, it's got this assembly here. Kind of nice, though, they've got the choke uh, up here on this connection versus, like, you know, somewhere else. Got to be careful with that being exposed like that. And then our switch over here. Got some exposed wires, so I'm going to have to rewire this anyway. But, and the, you know, the spark plug has a big uh, chunk of tape on it here. I'm going to pull that off just so we can make sure this isn't going to give us problems down the road. May be able to use that. Uh... Oh boy. Yeah, they made a they made a solder repair there. Hmm. Yeah. Uh. So that's not really the right way to do that. <laughs> hmm. Anywho, uh, let's see here. I've got one here, uh, two here, one back there. So we'll start with our carburetor. Getting that off of there. And we're probably going to be metric here with an 8 millimeter. You betcha. And we'll get that off of there. Then we'll have to push the boot probably through this housing uh, to get this off. Um, and then it's going to be figuring out how to get our gas tank off. And it's already missing a screw here. Looks like the only thing really holding that on there is going to be whatever is behind here. So trying to figure out how to get this mount off and uh, get it up that way. Man, these dogs are sharp. I should probably take those off first for safety reasons. Am I bleeding yet? Alright, so when you're trying to get this apart, you've got two options here. Um, you're going to start ripping and pulling and breaking stuff or methodically going through and looking to see if there's like a specific way to get all this stuff off. Now I was starting out taking these off and I'm probably still going to but this is actually uh, unlike the 031 the gas tank this whole thing so if I take these off I'm looking at the inside of the gas tank over here right. Um, I also found there was a screw right here so there's a soft mount back up under behind there and that screw you can get to it it's a little difficult but um, possible now the primer of this whole thing looks to be this right here so there's a mount right here and this piece but it's not like a through thing um, oh there's flats on it okay I didn't I didn't notice the flats when I first started this but there is flats on it it looks like yeah but anyways um, you can either get a wrench on like this which kind of works but not really or like this 
and start turning it. But the problem with this is I broke it free like this, but you don't, you just can't get much grip on it. So now that I'm seeing these flats in here, I think I can get on there and get it the rest of the way. Maybe I can start kind of working this out. Oh, well my vacuum line is disconnected and broken. Yeah, that's part of the problem with these older saws. Right, there's no... Yeah, somebody was working on this one. And, uh... Oh, no. No, okay. Yeah, good thing I didn't go wrenching on that. This is actually well designed. There's a, a nipple in the back of it here, and then just this little tube, which is easily replaceable. Really good design there. Okay, next is going to be the boot. Okay. And then that comes off of there. That's off of there. Beautiful. What was that? Okay, let's uh, let's see there. That hadn't been connected in a long time, the vacuum. I'm surprised the piston isn't in worse shape than what it is. All right, let's blow all this off, and then we'll see if we can get these two pieces apart here. It doesn't look like that's... It definitely looks like that's a two-piece. It's got to be, right? Okay, we're almost there. So I've noticed a, a few little nicks, dings, damage. Of course, the the wire for the on-off switch is uh, completely the sheathing is is gone, and I mean this could be touching ground at any time. Um, so I definitely need to replace that. I'll also be replacing um, the spark plug wire, and then I actually went to. Um, Take the dogs off but where the lower dog goes in here this is just completely eaten up probably from a chain um, but then the dog is bent here too so somebody was probably watching too much TV and saw you know somebody digging their dog in after they get done cutting down a tree you know sticking it in the stump and I mean that's that's what happens when you do that, right? You bend that dog over and um, break your break your chainsaw, basically. Okay, we're down to one left. And then we can get our jug off. See what size piston we got. See if this is a, you know, 045 or 056. I think was the two models that use the same frame. out of here. Maybe. God, does that even, does that even go through there? Oh, well. Man, I don't know how they got those in there. Gasket looks good. I know these are going to fall out. As soon as I go to show you the cylinder, these things are going to fall right out. Yep. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Lucky, lucky, lucky. We got lucky. Look at here. That's uh, above the exhaust where we would normally see damage. There is none. Look at those big, wide open transfers. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh man, this thing's going to be a monster. Nice chamfered edges. Really nice chamfered edges. I mean, all the way around there. Whew. Now this... This looks like a 52 millimeter piston. You know, of course I said... 
056 uh, or 045 and the reason is I mean there's nothing all that I can make out on this is electronic um, no uh, yeah I it looks like maybe 045 but let's measure this let's just measure it out and see what we got it looks big It is. It is. It's 52. 52 millimeter. So, and it doesn't, I mean, it looks newer than the, oh, there's stuff coming in this, oh, jeez. All right, well, at the very least, I need a new piston. This piston is chewed up. Look at there. This is on the intake side. I mean, so there must have been just garbage flying down this piston. And then here is on the exhaust side. I mean, it's it's almost in better condition on the exhaust side, which never happens, you know. Oh man, that's too bad. Okay, so we've got a 52 millimeter. Was that stock? Let's go to acres net and look up what they got on there huh but it's saying that it's um 50 50 by 38 045 ave 50 by 38 i mean but somebody could have been somebody could have been in here and and putting a bigger jug and piston on it um but i can i can just barely make out i, I mean i can make out electronic but I'm looking like I'm seeing o, 045. I had it just right in the light where I thought I could see it. Let's look. Yeah, o, o 040. Oh, wait. Is that 046? It looks like an A right there. It might... is. It might be 056. God, it's, it's impossible to read. So let's see what it says for an 056. 056 AVE. There it is. That's what it is. It's an 056. 056 AVE 52 by 38. 81 cc. That's what we're working with here. Tillotson HS-118A. Yeah, that's what's in it. Tillotson HS-118A. And look at that. USA Tillotson. How cool is that? Okay, so now we know what we're working with. Um, now let's, I guess, try to find a 52 millimeter piston. I don't think that's going to clean up. It might. I'm going to take it off of here, and we're going to try. Um... And to get your rings off, if you've never done that before, grab either side of them, you know, where they open up here. And you're just going to kind of pry it off and up around. Some are more difficult than others. That's for sure. And these are big, beefy rings. Okay, there's one. Man, I think, I think what happened was this didn't see much runtime. I don't know. I don't know. Let's uh, let's look at the ring in the piston real quick here. I don't know if you've ever done this trick, but uh, you can. You can see how much wear your ring has by the amount of gap right there. 
and I mean it's maybe it's probably over spec it's probably 15 thousandths but it's not much man let me show you the main difference between uh you guys hear that nope me neither that is the smoothest lower end I mean, and it's just going to be chugging along. 52 by 38. God, that's huge. That's huge. But look at how much trash this thing ate. Right? New saws are not going to... The lower ends aren't going to hold up. So this is trash coming into the lower end through the intake. Right? Our dowel pins are here. Rings are aligned this side. Trash. Just running right in there. Trash running up through um, the transfers and into the piston. I mean, just garbage, right? Here's exhaust, right? Trash going out the exhaust. Uh, other intake um, side of the piston, trash, just chewing it. So this sound was just chewing it. And this jug, um, there's no... There's, there's no scoring. There's some light scoring below the intake. Nothing that um, won't clean up. And the exhaust is perfect. Kind of a puny exhaust port, though. This, this might be seeing some seeing a grinder. But, um, yeah, just with some 400 grit here, we can see. Yeah, I'm... I'm catching my nail on that. That's not going to work. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see if I can find a piston online. And this is the male, Molly male piston, OEM. Um, OEM male uh, jug on here. So let's uh, let's take a minute, think about what we want to do here. If we want to dig into that one, maybe that one's got the same 52 millimeter piston jug. Look at the combustion chamber on this. Can you see down there? It's a, it's a combustion chamber within a combustion chamber. I bet this sucker has all kinds of power. Wow. Yeah, no need for a pop-up there. It's built into the jug. Okay, I'm going to blow all this down, and then uh, maybe we can get a better look at kind of what we want to do here. Alright guys, well that's going to do it for part one of the uh, Steel 056, uh, let's see, AVE, Steel 056 AVE, yeah, 52 millimeter piston, 38 on the, uh, on the stroke. I went ahead and ordered uh, a piston, um, let's see here, Little Red Barn still sells those, uh, brand new, um, and then I think I also ordered a new old stock one. I kind of want to compare them and, and see. And then some caber rings. They still sell all that stuff. The difference, I think, between like the 064 and then like some of the other 52 millimeter ones. 044 maybe has a 52. There's some other 52 millimeter ones. This one has a 13 millimeter wrist pin. Um, so you can't interchange. I think the other ones have a 12 and maybe even an 11 millimeter wrist pin. So, yeah, I've, uh, I've gone a, a little bit further in here. I want to make sure that this thing is tip-top, so as soon as I get that new piston on there, I'm not going to have any surprises. But this thing is turning out to be um, just kind of a bear to, to get off of there. Pretty interesting. This is actually made in Sweden. It says right there. So, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll keep trying, and uh, in part two, I'll have uh, the replacement jug. We'll put it on the timing wheel get some timing numbers out of it. Uh, the exhaust port on this one looks pretty anemic. Um, I think I'm going to go in there and do the layout fluid on the piston again, and draw the edges of the uh, ports onto the piston, and then maybe make some decisions from there. But I definitely want to port this. I've seen these things run in stock. Um, for, for that much uh, duration and, and piston size, 
Um, I'm hoping I can get a lot more out of it. So this one is definitely going to go into the knife and, and get ported. Um, e even though, you know, I hate to do it because, again, they're going to say it's an antique saw down at the <laughs> saw shop when I go down there and ask them for a part for it. Uh, I don't care. I want this to be like the best running 056 AB and I still want it to look like a piece of junk too. That's the other thing. So I'm not going to do anything like to modify it, like as far as paint or anything like that. I'm just going to, in fact, this is probably as, as clean as it's going to get. Uh, I did run out of brake clean, so it might get a little bit cleaner, but not much. So anyway, stick around, uh, like and subscribe uh, so you can find part two of the Steel 056 AV ported uh, chainsaw revival. Thanks for joining me today on Man Time. Guys, get out there. Have you some man time too.